All right, here we are, at nine o'clock, Snowmageddon 2017. My wife's mad because I'm supposed to be watching The Walking Dead, but the kids are still awake. So we're gonna go out and hit the driveways real quick. People south of us are saying that it's dying off and all the news was a dud, but just in case, we're gonna go get the driveways before we go to bed. We'll probably have maybe another 10 inches. I don't think it's quite a foot. Didn't bring a ruler out. But we'll uh, touch base in the morning. One more quick thing. And, uh, not complaints, but conversations with clients uh, the last few days, these last couple of storms, wanting to know why I charge so much when their driveway only needs one pass. So I just thought I'd demonstrate what one pass looks like. It's the width of the truck, but you know, the if you were to leave it like this, the sides are going to freeze over and uh, it's not going to be good conditions at all. It takes a couple of passes to really get the windrows uh, off to the side and get it to a safe condition. You can't have just a single car width uh, plowed and expect that you're going to be able to drive in and out of your driveway uh, and, and stay in that path. And keep in mind that uh, the truck is a little bit wider than a typical car width, or the plow uh, width is a little wider than typical car width. So it is a little bit wider, but, you know, there's no room for maneuvering, and uh, you'd have to be dead center every time you drove up your driveway. So that's why we go back and forth, up and down the driveway, pushing back the snowbanks as we go.